traps, just trying to bring them up on my screen. Here we go. So we've got uh, Mark Halls and Jeff Davies on pole in a uh, Kawasaki uh, XR 600 XR. And uh, those guys are from Albany by the looks of things. Let's have a look. Uh, hold on. I seem to have lost something on my screen, which could be a bit of a challenge. <clears throat> Okay, they looks like they're off. Okay, they are away. So sorry, sorry, folks. My screen's died on me just as I just as they took off. Anyway, okay, let's try and pick them up as I get around the track. Uh, so down under the bridge for the very first time. And it looks like it is the Halls Davies bike uh, leads through there from Unsworth and Rose on the Aprilia. Through the up and over they go, down into the Golden Homes hairpin for the very first time. Through there they go. Good field of them this time, this weekend. Bigger field than we had a couple of weeks back, or last month I should say. And up over the top of the hill down into the Porsche Tipper they come for the first time this weekend. And it is the uh, Davies. The Halls Davies bike meets the uh, Unsworth Rose machine and it looks like we've got a pass going on down the straight here down into turn 10 and we do so we've got a new leader in the race although that could change now as he drifts wide and the other one the other comes back on this side by side out of that corner as they come up the hill here it's a straight drag race we'll wait till they get to the line and we'll see who it is going to get across that line first and around the top they come and it is the uh, Unsworth Rose bike from the Judd Halls Davies machine. Then we go back to Goodwin and Blythe next, but then it's uh, Taylor and Cannon Dunlop, and then Graham and Wilson, Wilkinson, and Burke and Wilkinson, sorry, as they go down under the bridge now. And it is the Aprilia leading the Kawasaki through the up and over for the second time, heading down towards, this is where all the action's happening at the pointy end at the moment, as they get down towards the Golden Homes hairpin. Back in third position at the moment, it's Peter Goodwin and Louise Blythe on the LCR 1000. And then the uh, next bike back from there is Spike Taylor and Kendall Dunlop in the GSXR 1000. And then there's a good little bunch going, on. there's about three abreast, three of them are abreast coming out into the, into the corner there. As they come out, it's uh, one, two, three in a line, so I can't pick them up. I can't pick up the numbers of them from here. So back to the front. And it is uh, Unsworth and Rose are absolutely pulling out the out. That Aprilia has got some grunt as it pulls out of that corner there, pulls away from the uh, Kawasaki as they come up the hill. Both bikes 1,000cc. Uh, oh, sorry, no, the Kawasaki is a 600. Do apologise. Goodwin and Blythe back in third there on the 1,000. So down into uh, turn one goes our leader now. Heading down towards the... Uh, Hampton Downs Bridge for the third time. And this is a six lap race. And it looks like the uh, Unsworth Rose machine is going to uh, not make a race of it. They've just pulled out a, a little bit, opened up a gap. But uh, And then, of course, the uh, Mark Halls, Jeff Davies in second position have opened up on Peter Goodwin and Louis, Louise Blythe. And then we go back to Spike Taylor and Kendall Dunlop followed by Darrell Williams and Brian Flynn. Then it's Ian Burke and Graham Wilkinson come through next. Then uh, De uh, Desmond James and Richard Lawrence from Michael uh, Woolen and Isaac Taylor. Uh, then the next one's through with Damon Nagel and Louis Scrivener from David MacArthur and Josh Keeling. And then Peter Bradler and Simon Beard and rounding up the field was uh, Nick Plogan, and Marcy Pandela, but it looks like they, they actually didn't start. So uh, lap four up the front here. As they come across the line one more time. And it's still the Aprilia leads from the uh, Kawasaki. Not a lot of uh, passing going along through this little group. The Kawasaki in second, although it looks like uh, Goodwin and Blythe might be getting inching closer, but I think they're going to run out of time. I think they've only got uh, a couple more laps left to run. 
I'm looking down as if I can see a white flag, but I can't see the flag from where I'm sitting. One more lap across there for the uh, Dave MacArthur and Josh Keeling machine on the two, the Anderson the R1 1000. Brader and Simon Baird come through the last <coughs> last bike on the road. That's the Yamaha uh, ZFR 1000. Remember our lead bike now coming across the stripe one more time. And the second time comes. I tell you what, the uh, Unsworth Bryce Rose machines just set the fastest lap of the race with a 112.801. Plays the uh, Mark Hall's Jeff um, Davies bike on a 114.102 and Peter Goodwin and Louis Blythe third on a 115.251. So we've only got a couple more laps to go. Of course, the uh, Side cars bought today. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, side cars bought to you today by Motor Mail. Oh, it must be coming. It must be coming up to the last lap anytime soon. Looking for our lead bike now. Where is it? Or our lead rig? Comes across the line now, and it is the last lap this time around. Here comes our second place bike. And then it's uh, back to Goodwin and Blythe come through in third position. All pretty much equidistant now. It's a good little scrap going on right down at the back here for them. I'm just trying to pick up which uh, two bikes it is. There's a couple a little bit further down the field that are having a real ding-dong battle down through the Porsche Dipper at this point in time. There's a couple more coming up the hill here now, and uh, we could have a close finish for the, uh, this next time around. So looking for the... Uh, here it comes across the line now. The Michael uh, Lawn, the Isaac Taylor bike, raised the uh, Desmond James Richard Lawrence machine. And here's an even closer fight coming up the hill here. These two are really climbing all over each other. And it's dead heat across up the top of the hill here. Green Machine's just got it slightly. And that's uh, the Nagel Lewis Scrivener bike from the David MacArthur Keeling Machine. Let's pick up that other fight a little bit earlier on. I mean, there's no point following the leaders around because we know what the, what the result's going to be there. And uh, it is, uh, oh, sorry, in fact, I'll tell you what the result is. It's uh, the Unsworth Rose machine has just crossed the line to take it from the Halls Davies bike and then the Goodwin Blythe machine comes through in third position and the uh, Breda Beard machine has uh, just finished but uh, still a lap down but here's this little battle going on right at the back here between uh, uh, Scrivener and Keeling and sorry Nagel and, Nagel and Scrivener and MacArthur and Keeling right at the back they drop down in the Porsche Dipper they're absolutely glued together you look at tied a piece of string between the two of them as they head off down the straight towards the uh, Dale ITM sweeper not a lot of performance difference between them as they go into turn one and oh I'll tell you what it nearly got that wrong and that was the uh, the green machine, the Scrivener machine, got completely uh, tail happy coming out of there. And uh, I might have lost ground actually, so look at them coming up the hill here. Uh, but no, that horsepower has definitely got more horsepower than the, uh, the um, Suzuki. And across they come the line there, and it is the uh, Nagel Scrivener machine finishes in front of the MacArthur Keeling machine. Well, there you go. That was our first run of the day. Our first race of the day, I should say. That was the sidecars. Next up, it will be the intermediates. And that's these includes the Super, Super Light in uh, the Ninja 400, the Twin Pro 650s, 125 GP, and the Post Classics. That's a six lap race. That will be our next one up.